Shah. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Right? Yahweh being who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shah being who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Right? So things are different for us than it is for everybody else. Things are different for us as it is than it is with everybody else. As say the curses. As expose the curses. Who is us? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, so called, right? Those who were oppressed, those whose forefathers was killed, destroyed off their lands, hey, and given over to the enemy, man. Right? Moses spake these words to to all Israel, man. Right? Only Israel was in the wilderness, man. Only Israel. We were the ones that cried out. We were the ones that uh 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 complain because of all the oppressions all the evils all the stereotypes that got wherein we were murdered and killed man by the wicked made to serve right and moses told what to the children of israel choose ye this day whom you should which basically choose ye this day right as it says in joshua 24 15 what he says choose life or death right let's go to it deuteronomy chapter 30 30 verse 15 right and all these words in this scriptures all these words in this book is what we must hope on man. this is our hope this is where our hope is at in these in these scriptures man so so all the scripture is righteousness man all the scriptures is fire right all the scriptures is power man right Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 15 see I have set before thee this day life and good right and death and evil, man. Right? So, the Lord is telling you. Look, his law, statutes, and commandments is life. Keeping of the law, statutes, and commandments is life. But what did we do? We did not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, uh, to the words of the Lord uh, uh, given to Moses. Right? So, let's go to Baruch. We didn't hearken. Baruch chapter 18. What does it say? Chapter 1. It's a lot. Baruch chapter 1 verse 18. Right? Let's start at, it says, verse 17. It says, For we have sinned before the Lord and disobeyed him and have not hearkened. Right? Moses told us to hearken and we did not hearken. Right? If you don't listen to your parents, what's going to happen to you? You're going to get the punishment. Not your friends. Your friends gonna continue to walk in wickedness, according to your Lord, uh, according to your your your, your uh, mother and father's rules, right? They're gonna walk contrary to those things because it wasn't told to them, right? So it says what, and they're gonna suffer the things that they will suffer if they don't hearken to even some of the teachings that your parents give gave to you, right? So that doesn't mean that. Uh, 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 everybody gonna sit here and be saved Right So it says what For we have sinned before the Lord And have dis and disobeyed him And have not hearkened unto the voice Of the Lord Our power To walk in the commandments That, that he gave us openly Since the day That the Lord brought our forefathers Out of the land Of Egypt Unto this present day we have been disobedient. Unto this present day, we have been disobedient. And this is exactly what our people are doing in the land of their captivity. Being disobedient unto this day. It says, Lord our God, it says, we have been, it's like, it says, we have been disobedient unto the Lord our God, and we have negligent, uh, we have been negligent. We neglected the ways of the Most High God. With, the, with our works, we said he is not. He says I am, and we say he is not. Right? We're going to go back to Baruch. Let's go to 2nd Ezra's momentarily. Right? 2nd Ezra's. 2nd Ezra's chapter 7. And verse 20. And it says what? For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them. That's why we murdering and killing one another. 
That's why we lust to envy, right? That's why we devour one another, right? That's why we continue in the ways that lead, that lead to death, man. That's why we continue to eat the foul foods. That's why we continue to love to hear uh, uh, doctrines of devils, things that tickle our ears, right? This is why we love to, to believe on uh, divinations, right? Lying divinations. This is why we continue in these things, and these things lead to death. These things lead to destruction, right? So it says what? For Yahweh has given straight commandment. He gave you straight commandment. You must keep, you gotta walk on this tight rope, man. If it be, if it be evil, if it be an evil thing for you to keep the law, states and commandments, you gotta walk that tight rope, man. If you're gonna endure and receive full things, if you're gonna receive full things, if you're gonna receive the kingdom, if you're gonna receive uh uh uh, uh the new spiritual body. The new ability. Understand that the Most High God put ability up on every creeping thing, every mighty beast. He, he gave ability and purpose to everything in the creation. Right? Brothers don't like to hear nobody talking about things like that. I guess it sound off. I don't know. But, you know, when you look at Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13, you look at uh, Psalms 104, right? You look at uh, Job chapter 30, uh, 38, 35. 36 or 38 and 30 37 38 right you look at things you look at Job chapter 28 and he goes into the things that were created man right so anyway right look at the fact that he gave ability to all creation we got to serve that power that gave these things which a lot of and he gave a uh, use for what the iron the the the, the steels the everything that's created up under the earth man Everything that we use for substance, right? He gave us all these things and his order and everything that he created. Job chapter 12, right? Verse, verse 7 on down to verse what? 11, right? So, so understand that we got to believe on that power who orders all things, the seasons, the times, right? Black people like to talk about, oh yeah, you know, our melanin, our melanin. But you take your black behind in the house, you're not trying to sit up in the sun all day. I be out here working hard. I don't see y'all out here working with rigor. I don't see y'all out here. All you, all you melanin fools, man. Our melanin is great. Our melanin is beautiful. The sun is great, right? But the Lord created all things, man. Y'all limit the Holy One of Israel. Y'all limit the Most High God's power, right? And that's why y'all love to muse upon wicked things, man, right? Romans, Romans chapter uh, 1. Verse 19 on down. Going into the creation. Going into different things. Right? So anyway, the Lord has created these things. We got to trust and believe on him, man. Believe in his power. Right? And we're and we're connected with the most high God because he gave us, he made a covenant with us, with our forefathers, right? So it says what? For Yahweh has given straight commandment to us, man. Straight commandment. And what does this commandment tells us to do? What is it? What, what, what good things come of this commandment? We're gonna go back to Baruch, right? But what good things come from these commandments? Let's go to uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 17 and verse 14. Bear with me because I'm driving to this plantation, right? So it says what? And he said unto them, beware of all unrighteousness. And he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor, right? So that's for us. It says their ways are ever before him and shall not be hid from his eyes. You can't hide from the most high God, right? We're his children. He's watching over us. We're going to rule over our oppressors. We're going to be a light, right? We're going to be a light in this world, man. We're going to uh, break the, the nations into, uh, into shivers, man. We're going to get, we're going to beat out of them all these things that they believe in, man. That's what we're going to do, right? All these wicked things that our people believe, uh, not our people, but the, our, the world believes in. We're going to break these people, man. We were made to reprove their thoughts. So the scripture says what? For every man from his youth is given to evil neither could they make to themselves fleshly hearts for stony so you got to hear the words of the of the prophets you got to hear hey he said by a prophet right see these things are man you get hey man you get lost in the words of the most high god man which is a, a great and beautiful thing this is uh hosea chapter 2 and verse 10 and what does it say i have also spoken by the prophets that's how he speaks. It's by the prophets. 
These are men. These ain't no angels. These angelic beings, right? Our people love to believe on. Oh, I'm not going to read, believe in no book uh, of a man. A man wrote that book, right? Every instruction that you get in Babylon that you... You worship these devices that you get in Babylon, these creations, the things you go buy from the store and you read the instruction manual, right? When you go to these jobs, man, I just got the new job, yup, yup, getting my $20 an hour, right? And they give you a policy book and you be in that thing, man, right? So, so hey, when we go before the cops and, and, and call yourself uh, uh, trying to, trying to uh, 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 deliver yourself from the, from, the, from the hands of the wicked, what you going to? You go into the damn uh, law. The law says in, in, in section whatever, so on and so forth, right? And then they still beat you upside your head, right? So it says what? I have also spoken by, by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of prophets. And what is the ministry that we are given in this day? The ministry of reconciliation, reconcile. We're trying to reconcile the Lord's people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans unto himself, right? So he speaks by the prophets, man, right? When it says what? Let's go to 13. It says what? And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet was, was he preserved. So we got to hear these words of understanding, man. We got to hear these words that, that of, of reconciliation. That's the only way we can come back to the Most High God. That's the only way we can come back to the Most High God. Let's go back to... Baruch. All right, let's go back to Second Ezra, and I'm gonna finish that up. Second Ezra seven, and now we on what twenty one. So it says what? For Yahweh have given straight commandment to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. These things that's upon us is punishment, man. Until we until we acknowledge those things, the Lord is going to go back to his place, as it says in Hosea chapter uh, 5 and verse 15. He's going to go back to his place till we acknowledge our sin. It says, nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagined vain things and deceived themselves by their wicked deeds and said to the most high he, that he is not and knew not his ways. You see that? Therefore, we are poor because we don't know the most high God. Right, we don't know our father. Uh, we don't know Yahweh, right? And we don't know the the um, we don't know his judgment, right? But it says what? But his law, they despised and denied his covenants. We hated the, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. They were grievous unto us, and we want to be like the wicked nations, right? Baruch. Let's go to Baruch chapter 2. So that's why all these punishments are on us. And the Lord is going to keep these punishments on us until we acknowledge, man. Until we acknowledge these things. Baruch chapter 2. And verse 1 said, What? Therefore the Lord hath made good his word, which he which he's pronounced against us and against our judges that judged Israel and against our kings and against our princes and against the men of Israel and Judah to bring upon us upon us great plagues such as never have happened under the whole earth under the whole heaven as it came to pass in Jerusalem according to the things that were written in the law of Moses who was a prophet so all these things happened to us and guess what he made good on his word and he's going to Hey, and until we acknowledge these things, hey, these things will continue to be up on us, right? They're going to be up on us forever, but we have to acknowledge these things so we can be delivered from these things. So those plagues are upon us, and what do we do? Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 21. What does it say? Let's go up. Let's start at 22, and it says what? Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in knowledge of Yahweh, but where, whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those so great plagues called they peace. We calling these plagues peace. So with that, I want to give all praise going on to Yahweh, Shalom.